Hi, and welcome back to day three of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. I am so glad to have you back, and um, I just can't wait to get into this prayer for our kids. On day three, we're going to talk about love for God. So we addressed need for a Savior. We prayed for um, knowing God. And I kind of touched on the fact that to know God is to begin to love Him, but it, it is a separate thing. And so once they become this, uh, they begin this lifelong journey of incrementally knowing God, we want them to cultivate a genuine love for God. Because what Jesus tells us is that love for God leads to obedience. And um, rather than picking apart all the different things that we could pray for, for our children to obey God, if we pray for a love for God, that foundational um, quality or that foundational um, knowledge or um, I don't even know what you would call it, but that foundational truth, I guess, of loving God will lead to obedience. So it's, it's not, a, you know, obviously we don't love God and then become perfect people. But if our children truly do love God, they have a much better chance of walking in obedience to him. Um, in a way that that will lead to more abundant living. So without further ado, let's pray that our children would just be open, that their eyes would be open to the tremendous love that God has for them, the sacrifice of Jesus. I believe understanding that sacrifice of Jesus and understanding how utterly sinful we are in light of who God is in his perfection is key to understanding that love that he's shown us. And when we love, when we see the love that God has given us, it makes it much more possible for us to love him in return. Um, so yeah, let's pray. Father God, we confess that we ourselves do not always see you in the right light. We question your goodness Deep down, we believe you withhold good things from us, even though we know that in scripture, you say that no good thing does God withhold from the children that he loves. And so we just, we confess that God, and we come before you humbled because we want more for our kids. We want them to know you. We want them to love you. We want them to chase after you. So we do repent of our doubt and we embrace the truth that you have loved us with an everlasting love. You have drawn us with unfailing kindness. We love you, Lord. We praise you because you don't just show us love. You are love itself. We thank you that you gave us a picture of yourself as a loving father through the joys and the sorrows and the heartbreaks that we experience ourselves in parenting. God, I can't tell you how many times I have seen myself in relation to you when I see my children acting in disobedience. God, uh, just give us the ability to model love for you, for our children. We lift our kids up to you, God, and we just pray that you would help them to cultivate a genuine love for you in their own lives. We pray that you would hold a place in their hearts above all else. Lord, that nothing else, that the other idols would just fall to the ground in light of your sufficiency and your greatness and your almighty awesomeness. Father, that they would see you for who you are and that that would just make everything else pale in comparison. We just look forward so much to seeing the fruit of obedience being born out of that love and watching them walk in life to the full. Oh God, we just pray for that abundant life to the full that you have for them. I just pray that if they're walking right now in disobedience, if there's uh, bondage to addictions or strongholds of um, just vices or just anything that they might go to for comfort that elevates itself above you, God, we just pray that you would break those strongholds in the name of Jesus, God, in the powerful name of Jesus, and allow them to seek you for their sustenance and to see you as their all-sufficient God, as their provider, and that they would just love you with all of their heart, mind, 
soul, and strength. In Jesus' name, amen.